Tom Hayden from yeah. California. How are you? In California, half the state was burning. It's in the longest drought in the history of California. The water is disappearing. The snowpack is disappearing. Drastic measures are necessary. The march today could not be at a more important time and I want to first of all salute the young people, the students from places like Michigan who have put together this great movement to reverse climate change. You have faced a very difficult future. You've been told the economy is going to get worse, you're not going to get any good jobs, your life is going to be shorter, your health is going to be worse, your mobility is going to be downward, not upward. But it really doesn't matter that much because the world is going to end anyway, right? No! No, no young people that I've ever been around have accepted such a prognosis for their future. It is inevitable and historic and wonderful that so many millions of young people have gone into the streets, have organized against climate change, are trying to get divestment from their universities, are trying to put an end to the fossil fuel era, and at a time when the old anti-war movement needs to be at your back because we all know that it's a crazy idea to use fuel to start fires to attack other countries in order to get more fuel and more gas in order for the machine to go on. So generations are together here. Uh, movements against war, against nuclear weapons, against the fossil fuel industry are coming together. And I'm, uh, I'm so delighted to march with you. In 1979, I was the solar energy chairman for the state of California uh, under a very young man named Governor Jerry Brown. It's kind of difficult to believe that I was the head of the solar energy agency 40 years ago for a governor who's still back and going to the United Nations as a featured leader in the global movement to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. California is a green global model. We are not into a nuclear future. We say no to Jeffrey Sachs and the representatives who are proposing that the UN adopt a, a, a robust nuclear component in its plan for saving the planet from what? We want to know. Secondly, uh, we have a, uh, a, 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 not a carbon tax, but a cap and trade that the, fuel, the fossil fuel industry has fought furiously. They are at war with California. They don't want limitations on their emissions. Somehow we got that secured, at least for the next few years. We have 199,000 people working in real jobs in the clean energy industry. We have saved consumers $80 billion in efficiency from conser uh, conservation and, and uh, uh, fuel efficiency standards. What we do in California uh, echoes across the country and the world. We set the way in terms of tailpipe emissions. It took 30 years before those were adopted on the federal level. What starts in California doesn't end in California. It expands. So we're here uh, at a, a United Nations event, which I'm sure all of you are skeptical about, as I am. These climate treaties have, have failed before. But if you look at it this way, improving the clean energy economy in California, using wind and solar in Michigan. You can look back in a year or two, every effort at the regional level, including New York, to advance towards a clean energy economy will be good for our children's health, will be good for the planet, will be good for our economy, and I think that we will get there because the leadership of this generation is already showing the way and already refusing 
to settle for less than a totally safe planet. Thank you very much for coming, and let's march. <laughs>